Hmm. I wonder if something really happens if you do hit 1 million coins or dinero or whatever. Of course, nothing happened in the first game, but I went for the challenge anyway. I wonder if the devs took notice. I doubt it. That scene at the end with Russ and his French caught me off guard because. I don't remember there being any official art with him in a wrench. And I just kind of made that up with uh, the drawing of Russ I did. So it was kind of... Ow. Ah! Ow! weird noises. <laughs> Claw attacks don't work. At least not like so. Oh. <laughs> Get it together, man. Okay, they work, but you gotta be quick. Ah, I need a stabler set up. Oh, wait a minute, I see. Yeah, I heard there was another type of those. Like the snack rocks, but they drop health. I wonder if those were it. One way to find out. Pull up the guide. Enemies. No, I don't see a new... Oh. I wonder if I got it already. Yes, I do! Outwardly, it resembles a snack grok, but it is infused with a revitalizing energy. This is one grok that those who are low on health are actually happy to see. Gem grok, a mutant form of nothing grok. They have been avidly sought, off, sought by treasure hunters to the point that they're increasingly rare. Some say they're nearly extinct. <laughs> right, um, okay. <laughs> Really, no way to tell which is the right way. I guess not. Floor seven. 
No whammy, stop! Ooh, treasure chamber! Quartz! Floor 9! That is a three way split, too. Again. Um, I'm still going? How many floors are here? I thought number 10 was the last one. I guess not. But like I said, this is the last mine, probably. Most likely. Yeah, I'm sure. So... Ugh. I hate how it's luck-based. This is coming from someone with 32, 33 shinies under his belt. I got that. Strong spring stone. This high tension spring is durable, but it's more valuable when it's still connected to the spring rock. So, wait a minute. New enemies! Torsion rock. Shortly after its discovery, it was proven that the Torsion Grok is the larger and more powerful adult form of the Spring Grok. <laughs> it's like a Pokédex, seriously. But what the hell did- Oh, this thing. Gem Grok, a mutant form of Nugget Grok. So that's it. That's pretty cool. I didn't even know I encountered that before. My spikes are gone. Thank you. 
freaking three ways, man. They're gonna throw me off. Come on, I actually want Grogs. Two ways! God is telling me to go right, but, um... Okay! Three way again. Pressure chamber. Three way split again. Lapis lazuli. Holy cow! What is that thing? Um. Um. Can't carry any more rock coins. Holy man. I gotta check the listing on that one. Swing Horn Grok, a new species of Grok that looks and acts like a bull. It seems to get very agitated around Dylan, but it may be that its red back shell provokes this reaction. Understandable. Hmm. So, I see what you gotta do. I think. If I ever encounter another one, I'll test it out. Well... <laughs> hey, that went rather nicely. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know if it's the fourth one. There 
this? Ah, oh, just the dun dun the buzzer. I guess over the buzzer. Whatever. I missed it. <laughs> That's regrettably what matters. Going for middle this time now. No grogs. That's <laughs> actually disappointing. Encounter new kinds of grass. So I'm sure there are more. Another treasure room, and that seems to be it! Um... 20 floors. You got Carnet! Carnet, whatever. Wow, that was a rather successful run. So this has 20 floors. So I'm assuming the type of grocks that appear are random. Success! Admirable! You got some treasure, just splendid! Now I'll convert your goods directly into cash. This time I'll buy the lot for this amount. Holy cow! Oh, crazy eye rock, a broken rock, horn rock. Forgot to read up on those. This game is going to be a pain to 100%. But yay, monies! See you later! You know, I might actually save this on YouTube. Considering how luck-based it is.